My talk today is about the uh, different reactor technologies for carrying out the Fischer-Tropsch synthesis of uh, hydrocarbons. The material I'm going to present today is uh, contained in three publications listed here. Please consult these publications for background information. The Fischer-Trop synthesis is a process developed by Franz Josef Emil Fischer and Hans Tropes when they were working at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Coal Research in Germany before the uh, Second World War. In the Fischer-Tropsch process, syngas consisting of carbon monoxide and hydrogen is converted to uh, hydrocarbons and uh, the uh, distribution of the uh, chain length of the hydrocarbons formed in the Fischer-Tropsch process follows the anderson flory schultz distribution One of the important characteristics of the Fischer-Tropsch reaction is that it is uh, highly exothermic and the adiabatic temperature rise is uh, about 1600 degrees centigrade. And the Fischer-Tropsch reactor technology choice is uh, driven by this exothermicity and how this can be uh, coped with in the uh, reactor chosen for this process. Here is the uh, graph showing the product distribution uh, in a Fischer-Tropsch uh, process. Um, we produce a range of products from um, waxes, gas oil, kerosene, naphtha to uh, LPG and fuel gas. Typically, it is desired to have a catalyst uh, that produces a value of alpha that gives products in this range. The uh, Fischer-Tropsch synthesis can be carried out in um, fixed bed reactors with uh, internal cooling and uh, these fixed bed reactors can be operated in a once through mode or with recycle of the unconverted syngas back to the fixed bed. The fixed bed reactors for um, Fischer-Tropsch synthesis could also be operated adiabatically with a large recycle of um, hot gas and uh, external cooling. We could have a single bed or multi-stage bed as shown here on the right. Two other configurations of uh, adiabatic reactors for Fischer-Tropsch synthesis are shown on this diagram. On the left we have the uh, BASF process in which an adiabatic uh, reactor is operated with co-current upflow of syngas and recycled oil. The uh, heat of reaction is removed ex through external heat exchangers. On the right we have um, the expanded bed reactor technology developed by the U US Bureau of Mines in which we have um, co-current upflow of um, syngas and uh, recycled oil. The uh, heat of reaction is removed both from the gas phase and from the liquid phase external to the reactor. The uh, Fischer-Tropsch synthesis may also be carried out uh, with catalyst particles smaller than about uh, 50 micrometers in uh, the slurry phase. On the left we have uh, the BASF process for a slurry reactor in which the heat of reaction is removed externally 
via heat exchanger. On the right, we have the uh, slurry reactor process developed by a Rhine Preussen coppers in which uh, the heat of reaction is removed uh, with in situ cooling inside the uh, slurry reactor. We have also a recycle of uh, the oil back to the reactor in which the highway product of the desired uh, chain length is withdrawn and the remainder is recycled back. The efficient synthesis can also be carried out at um, higher temperatures and uh, two variants are shown in this figure. On the left we have uh, the hydrocol process that involves a gas solid fluidized bed reactor with internal uh, heat exchange. On the right hand side we have a dilute phase riser transport of gas and catalyst with uh, a cyclone for separating the gas product from the catalyst and the catalyst is recycled back to the uh, riser transport reactor. This is the synthol process that is uh, characterized by a gooseneck construction connecting the riser to the cyclones. Sarsol is a pioneer in Fischer-Tropsch uh, synthesis and has uh, operated on a commercial scale four different reactor technologies for FT synthesis. The high temperature gas solid gooseneck reactor, the Arger fixed bed reactor technology that was used in Germany during the Second World War, the gas solid fluidized bed bubbling reactor, the Fischer-Tropp synthesis in a bubble column slurry reactor that was commercialized in 1993. And uh, this technology is currently being operated in Qatar. Bubble column slurry reactors are used by uh, the Sasol Corporation in Qatar for uh, Fischer-Tropp synthesis. Here is a photograph of uh, the uh, bubble column slurry reactors that are being shipped to Qatar. Gives you a uh, indication of the uh, sizes of the uh, slurry reactors used for commercial operations. Here's another photograph of the uh, fischer tropsch slurry reactor being lifted by cranes for installation on the uh, site in Qatar. Again, this gives you a uh, um, good indication of the large sizes of the bubble columns that are used in commercial practice. One of the uh, companies that uh, started the development of the bubble column slurry reactor technology for Fischer-Tropsch synthesis was Shell Research in Amsterdam. And this work was started in the uh, mid 70s because uh, the, the bubble column slurry reactor was considered by Shell to be the technology of choice. However, during the um, scale up uh, studies, um, it was uh, increasingly realized that the uh, Fischer Trop slurry reactor posed uh, difficulties of scale up, and uh, due to incomplete knowledge 
of the hydrodynamics and mass transfer characteristics of bubble column slurry reactors for large scale industrial fissiotropes processes. Uh, the Shell company decided to switch the development activities to uh, a multi-tubular trickle bed technology that offered a quicker path to commercialization. The background to this uh, development uh, activity is uh, discussed in these two publications. Here is a schematic of a multi-tubular trickle bed reactor for fissiotrope synthesis where the catalyst is packed into in um, tubes typically about two inches in diameter and an important advantage of um, the multi-tubular trickle bed reactor is that uh, in theory the scale up can be achieved by multiplication because uh, the development of the process can in principle be carried out in um, say a single tube or in a group of uh, say four tubes. The distribution of gas and liquid evenly through each of these uh, tubes is an issue that needs to be addressed. Due to the uh, poor heat transfer characteristics of a multi-tubular trickle bed compared to a bubble column slurry reactor for an um, industrial scale fissure troughs process, more than um, a single trickle bed unit has to be placed and operated in parallel. For example, this is the uh, photograph showing the uh, multi-tubular trickle beds that were constructed under construction for the uh, shell process for fissiotrope synthesis that was commercialized in Bintulu in Malaysia. In theory, the multi-tubular fissiotropes or reactor can be scaled up from a pilot plant of approximately two inch in diameter. In a sense, we uh, can carry out the development activity in a single tube. In practice, uh, the pilot plant uh, may consist of a four tube setup. In contrast to the uh, development of the multi-tubular fissure troughs reactor technology, the uh, Path adopted by Sasson for Fischer-Tropsch reactor development is somewhat different.